Hey everybody, John Fowler here with Word Life Panama. Uh, hope you're all doing well. I mean that sincerely given the circumstances in the world right now. You know, with this uh, coronavirus pandemic, all of us are doing things that we didn't see ourselves doing one month ago. Hoy anunciamos de manera transparente que tenemos el primer caso registrado en el país. We had a lot of other things we were going to do as a ministry with Word of Life, and obviously right now all of that has been put on hold, and really it's about the gospel and helping people with their needs. Church boys! Today we find ourselves delivering melons. Uh, turns out these melons are actually a, a special export melon that is grown here in Panama, but they're sold in Europe. It just so happens that they were going to go bad, so we're making the most of it and trying to get these out to people and and help them because right now people are getting hungry and and we expect the situation to get worse. Dios mío, mira la sola la roja, ay Dios mío. What had happened was even though Panama had already put in some of the, the toughest measures in place to keep this coronavirus from spreading even further, they said officials that they were seeing too many people out and about using the excuse that they were shopping for food, which is really the only excuse after emergencies that Panamanians have to leave their homes. The government has put a lockdown on the entire country. When this all started and when Panama started the quarantines, I knew a lot of people were going to be in trouble. I've been working in Panama with the very poor and the needy for about 28 years and I knew people would start calling me and they weren't going to have food to eat because they live on a daily, maybe five or ten dollars a day, they live by that. And so one night I just prayed, God, I don't know how all these people are going to eat. If you have a plan, help me, use me. And the next day somebody gave me five hundred dollars out of nowhere and I went to the wholesale and I bought as much rice and beans as I could and I started making bags like this. Two bags of rice, lentils, um, oil, some other basic essentials and people started calling and they didn't have food so I started in Kudundu and the last few weeks um, we've been able to give almost 700 bags out to really rough neighborhoods like Chorillo, Kudundu where I've been working a lot also to several pastors that are spread out in Panama they come to my house and they get these bags and every single bag has a Gospel of John so the people are not only getting food they're looking for answers they're looking for hope and all these bags has a gospel, John, but before, in the beginning, it gives a gospel message that we have forgiveness and eternal life in Jesus Christ. And that's what we want to also give the people. people are, are going to remember how the church responded to this situation and uh, we want to give other people an opportunity to help us too so like Tracy said whether it's through opportunities like this with these melons or whether it's buying groceries or medicine 20 25 dollars could go a long way for a family for a week uh, you, you could play a big part in, in helping us help them right now and especially since people are so open to, to hearing about the gospel, I think it's an opportunity for the church to stand up and, and do something. So we want to invite you. There's a link in the bottom of this video that uh, will show you how to give and how to help us. And the more you help, the more we can do. This is probably not going to end uh, next month or, or, or next week. This is going to go for a while, so we expect to, to need some help for, for some time. So if you're willing or able or in the position to do so, we, we invite it. And just want to say thanks and keep on praying for us and all these people in Panama. God bless.